avoiding missteps, mastering, would, in describing past habits. Hello and welcome back to our ongoing series on mastering English modal verbs. Today, we're going to dive deeper into a topic that often confuses learners, using would to describe past habits and routines. More importantly, we'll focus on common mistakes in using would and how you can avoid them. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to understand how would works. Would is used to describe habits and regular occurrences in the past. For example, when I was a kid, I would visit my grandparents every summer. The mistake comes when learners use would for past states or single events, which is incorrect. For example, when I was a kid, I would be very shy. This is wrong because shyness is a state, not a habit or routine. The correct sentence is, when I was a kid, I was very shy. Now let's highlight some common mistakes people often make with would. 1. Using would with state of verbs. State of verbs describe a state or situation rather than an action. Examples are love, hate, believe, know, prefer, etc. Remember, would should not be used with state of verbs when referring to the past. For instance, instead of saying, I would know a lot about history, say, I knew a lot about history. 2. Using would for single events in the past. Remember, would should not be used to talk about single actions or events in the past. For example, it's incorrect to say, I would break my arm while playing football. Instead, say, I broke my arm while playing football. 3. Using would when a specific time in the past is mentioned. When you specify a particular time in the past, it's incorrect to use would. For instance, I would visit my aunt last Sunday is incorrect. The correct sentence is, I visited my aunt last Sunday. Here are some tips to help you avoid these common mistakes. 1. Understand the difference between stative and dynamic verbs. Use would only with dynamic verbs when talking about past habits. 2. Use used to for past states and habits. Unlike would used to can be used for both past habits and states. For example, I used to play basketball every day and I used to be very shy. 3. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes. Try to use would in your daily conversations when appropriate. And there you have it. Mastering would when talking about past habits can be a bit tricky, but with understanding and practice, you can avoid these common mistakes. Keep practicing and you'll be using would like a native speaker in no time. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep practicing and never stop learning.